Sorry to cut the last video off because I was close to the um, YouTube limit. Um, as I was saying, uh, we can do operations on equations, do operations on both sides, and so on. Uh, for my last uh, little demo, um, like I said before, I'd like to uh, plot something. Uh, to plot, uh, we go into the plot menu. Uh, and this brings up a little menu. We can go to uh, the next, the menu pages. So we go to the next. Um, and we actually have to clear out sort of, we have a register in the calculator that holds the equation that we're plotting. Um, so we, that's stored in the uh, PPAR variable, uh, I assume. Um, and so we enter uh, PPAR. Um, and then we purge using, we purge the value of the variable using uh, the command above the number 4. Um, and now it should be purged. Um, next what we would do is put our calculator in radian mode and plot in standard mode. Um, the calculator is already in radian mode. You can tell that from the little 2 pi up at the top right. Um, to change modes, all we have to do is uh, press the mode key, uh, and you see that there's a little box by rad, and there's a little box by standard, um, and uh, that tells what mode uh, that it'll plot in. So if we wanted to plot with the x-axis representing degrees, we just change it to uh, degree mode. Um, finally, we enter our expression. Uh, let's suppose we want to plot sine x, uh, we just enter sine x, x, and then we take, go to trig and sine, and it pushes sine x onto the stack. Uh, we go back into the plot mode, and uh, we have uh, all these options. This is sort of non-intuitive. I probably wouldn't have figured this out without the manual, um, but we store the expression we want to plot into um, our, it's a special variable that stores it. Uh, that's what we had to clear before. Uh, so we store it using STEQ and it stores that equation or that expression and it turns it into an equation, basically y of x equals sine of x and that's what will be plotted. Um, finally, we'll, we just press draw and it should draw it. And as you see, uh, it slowly but surely, it probably plots about the same speed as an old TI-83 actually. Um, you can remember uh, probably in high school when you do plots, you know, it, it slowly follows the sine curve across the screen. Um, and then from here, uh, it's possible to uh, do different things. We can inspect the graph. We can actually print the graph uh, using the infrared port uh, if you have a special printer for the graph, uh, which I, I actually have one for uh, the HP50G, but I'm not sure it's uh, compatible. Um, and yeah, so uh, that's an overview. Like I said, uh, we can also, it can also work on matrices and vectors. Uh, it can do, it has statistical functions. Uh, and the calculator is also programmable. So we can program our own functions. Uh, if you remember when I was describing RPN, RPN is basically just a series of operations on a stack. So uh, one operation, for example, is pressing enter, which pushes onto a stack, or dropping, which pops something off a stack. Uh, or any of those operations there. Um, a function in RPN is basically encapsulating those stack operations and bottling up so they can be replayed later. And the way to do that is to use this double uh, less than sign, which is the start of our program, and then once you end your program, you do the double right hand sign. Uh, programs also can have different control flow. So you see above the M, N, and O, uh, there's uh, different control flow operations, such as branching, which would be if, then, and else, and so on. Uh, so our programs can get pretty advanced. 
Uh, you can see a little example program there, uh, dupe plus swap, um, uh, which will duplicate whatever's on the stack, add whatever the two things are there, and then swap the two items on the stack. Um, and yeah, so um, so this isn't that is an overview of the HP twenty eight S calculator. Um, I only sort of scratched the surface in what it can do. Um, the manual, uh, you know, is a good size. Uh, it contains all sorts of different information on all the different things it can do. And yeah, that's about it.